state had been under mounting pressure to reject the request from the Trump administration, saying it needed to root out voter fraud, the commission sought extensive voter information, including military history, criminal history, and the last four digits of voters' Social Security numbers. In a brief letter to the Trump administration's election commission, state elections chief Linda Lamone wrote, your request is prohibited under the Maryland election law article. Accordingly, she wrote, I am denying your request. Lamone's letter followed guidance from Maryland Attorney General Brian Frosch, a Democrat. It's way too broad. I think it's inappropriate. It violates the privacy of millions of Marylanders and hundreds of millions of U.S. citizens. And it's to no good end. Critics from both parties accuse the Election Commission of trying to discourage voting. The state asks for partial Social Security numbers on its registration form. It does not ask for criminal history or military history. And what they're trying to do is to intimidate voters, to suppress the vote. And I just find the whole thing repugnant. Maryland's election board is independent. But the controversy over the Trump administration request led one Democratic candidate for governor to criticize Governor Hogan for staying silent. And he has a responsibility on behalf of all voters to stand up and to let his feelings be known. The reality is, is that he has created an environment in too many instances for Trump to have his way with our state. The state does permit the sale of voter registration lists, provided certain restrictions are met, so the Trump administration's commission could revise its request and try again. I'm Jane Miller, WBAL TV 11 News. Well, Governor Hogan is letting his feelings be known. His office responded to the request denial, saying, as with any such request, the State Board of Elections should supply no more information that is required of them under the law.